many of you know our executive chairman, Bill Ford, has been talking about the issue of mobility for some time. It's something we're all very conscious of at Ford Motor Company. Because as we look ahead, we see real changes in how people will travel. Right now, there are about a billion vehicles on the road worldwide, and it took a hundred years to get to that level. With more people and greater prosperity, some experts are forecasting that number will double, and possibly double again by mid-century. The sheer number of vehicles on the roads could threaten the personal mobility we've enjoyed for more than a century. And if we do nothing, we'll create global gridlock, a never-ending traffic jam that wastes time, energy, and resources. This is especially serious in the world's rapidly growing cities. So to address this issue, we're developing new solutions and reaching out to companies that are leading in key technologies. We're developing cars that can communicate with each other and the world around them. We'll also need to view the automobile as one element of a fully integrated transportation ecosystem. Ford's going to take a leading role in making that happen. That's the point of our blueprint for mobility. A plan that describes what we believe transportation will look like by 2025 and beyond. And the technologies, business models, and partnerships that are needed to get there. In the near term, we're working on improving technology, such as traffic jam and accident alerts, and automated functions for parking and driving and slow-moving traffic. In the medium term, we believe vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications will be key to breakthrough in the main street. This will bring with it some autopilot capabilities, such as vehicle platooning, where cars traveling in the same direction sync up their movements to create denser driving patterns. And then in the long term, we see a future of connected cars that communicate with each other and the world around them to improve safety, reduce traffic congestion, and achieve major environmental benefits. It's likely to bring fully automated navigation and parking. And beyond that, we see even a further truly integrated network, not just for cars, but for all transportation. So this blueprint for mobility is more than just a vision. It's an eventual reality that we're working on today. In fact, we have research vehicles on the road right now, testing and advancing some of the many solutions we're exploring including automated driving technology. So today we'd like to share the results of more than a decade of research and innovation. Take a look. Tomorrow's technology today the automated Ford Fusion hybrid research vehicle. Created in partnership with University of Michigan and State Farm. But before we go any further, let's define what we mean by automated. What we do not mean is a driverless car. So if you had visions of sending your kid off to school in your car while you go back inside the house for another cup of coffee, that's not what we're talking about in the near-term mobility vision at Ford. The fusion hybrid, this fusion hybrid is capable of automated operation under the supervision of a human driver. We still believe the driver should be in the loop. This car is also a research vehicle, a platform for testing current and future technologies to determine which sensing systems and driver assist technologies are right for the next generation vehicle. 93% of crashes are caused by human error. What if we could significantly reduce human error in driving? And what if we could improve safety by reducing driver stress and workload, especially as our largest group of buyers grows older and begins to need more assistance? So at Ford, we've been working on this type of technology for a long time. We've been exploring the societal, legislative, and technical issues that automated driving raises for more than a decade. We've been participating in the DARPA Autonomous Challenge since 2004. And all of this leads up to this third generation vehicle that we've created, capable of fully automated driving, and other vehicles we've created, capable of automated driving through the desert and the city. For the last half decade, we've been making automated technology attainable for our customers, culminating in vehicles such as the Fusion, which is an ideal platform for a project like this, because it's already equipped with a wide array of driver assist technologies. The current Fusion can already park itself. It can hear your voice and respond to you. It can detect danger and assist with emergency braking 
whether the driver responds or not. So these technologies are great features on their own. But together, they become building blocks, giving us cameras, radar, ultrasonic sensors, and algorithms that can be combined and augmented to deliver an even more sophisticated solution. And what could that more sophisticated solution look like? Imagine if you could free yourself from the aggravation of bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic just by letting your vehicle handle the stops and starts on its own. And because of that capability, imagine saving possibly hundreds of dollars of fuel each year. How would it feel to drive a vehicle that could correct your driving errors and steer you clear of danger before you're even aware of it? And what if buying a new and better car could actually lower your insurance premiums? So our goal is to offer a level of technology in which the driver is still in control, and if he chooses, still be able to enjoy, enjoy the experience of driving, but in a better, safer, and more efficient way. So let's look at some of the technologies that make automated driving work. So we've given a, the Ford Fusion Hybrid a new way to see the world, mainly through its four scanning LiDAR sensors. So LiDAR technology uses light in the same way a bat or a dolphin uses sound waves and interprets the reflections off of everything within 200 feet to generate a real-time 3D map of the environment around them. It can track moving objects as well, including vehicles, pedestrians, and animals, for example. Our mapping research vehicle also fe features an omnidirectional spherical camera. When the 360-degree camera image is married with the data obtained by LiDAR, you can see how our Ford Fusion Hybrid Research Vehicle captures a more detailed picture of the driving environment, even more so than the human eye. Embedded camera systems work in combination with Fusion's existing radar and ultrasonic sensors to help the car understand and react to the world. One capability of our research vehicle is to create large-scale three-dimensional maps. Mapping helps plan routes, precisely determining current location, identifying what's changed, and anticipating what's ahead. So on the screen, here's a map of Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, created by driving a LiDAR-equipped research vehicle around it. So in the future, automated vehicles could have maps like these pre-installed, or customers could download them in real time. So in real-world use, an automated vehicle would navigate based on the 3D map while gathering additional data on the active, changing world around it through LiDAR cameras and other sensors in the car. So using this rich set of data, the Fusion Hybrid's computer sends messages to control modules for steering, throttle, brakes, shifter, signals, and the other components of the vehicle. Meanwhile, the car communicates with the driver, keeping the driver informed of what's happening at all times. So while automation at this level still may be years away, our continued research does help make tomorrow's technology available to our customers today. So within the next five years, you will see several new automated feature technologies becoming available on Ford vehicles, such as Traffic Jam Assist and innovations like fully assisted parking aid we showed you on our Ford Edge concept. However, building the infrastructure for automated driving is not something we can do on our own. We need to work across industries with many partners, two of which, our most valued partners, are here with us today. The University of Michigan is playing a significant role in the development of algorithms for sensing and decision making. And as the nation's largest insurer, State Farm is sharing their strong base of knowledge in the area of vehicle safety. So these great partners enabled us to achieve so much so quickly.